Now I'll teach you to crochet a sunflower. Sunflower will start by crocheting the core of the sunflower. For the core, start by crocheting with green cotton thread. It has two cores. We'll crochet the first one first. Wrap the cotton thread around your finger first. Wrap a coil. Crochet hook through the loop. We'll start by crocheting a chain. The first one doesn't count. Then we crochet six chains inside the loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, six chains. Next, we'll tighten the coils. After pulling it tight, we crochet. Complete this first crochet round. And then from the first coil here, crochet a slip stitch here on this loop. Crochet a chain after pulling this slip stitch tight. The first lap is 6 single crochet. Then the second circle is 12 single crochets. We started by crocheting a chain. And then we're here at this coil. Here, don't go to the back of this coil. Then crochet 2 single crochets in each loop. We are done with this second loop. We are done with this second loop. If you are a veteran, you don't need a marker button. If you are a novice, you need to use the marker button to remember the position. Then on the next lap, we will continue with the same steps as before. The second loop is to crochet 12 single crochet. Then we'll hook the third loop. The third loop is a single crochet inside the loop and increase. It's a single crochet and an increase. Crochet it all round like this. We are the same on this one coil. The first coil is usually smaller. This is the second one. Then crochet a single crochet inside the first loop. Okay, now let's put the markers on. It's easier for us to find. Then install my demo for crocheting. Two single crochet hooks in one loop. It's an increase. Crochet 6 sets in total. Okay, now we're done with the third crochet round. 
Now crochet a slip stitch link. After the third crochet, crochet the fourth crochet. The third lap is 18 single crochet. Then we crochet the fourth loop. Then crochet two single crochet, one increase. We'll start by crocheting a single crochet in the first loop. Put the marking clips on. Then continue crocheting as I have shown you. Watch carefully from the back. Finish crocheting the loop in this order. On this last stitch, we are just about connect with the first single crochet. When we are done crocheting, we remove the marker clasp. Crochet a slip stitch for attachment. After crocheting, our flower hearts are done. And then cut it off. Don't leave too much thread if you cut it off. Turn around after this line is tightened. Take this thread and bring it to the back. Just pull it again. The second piece is the same way. After this flower piece is crocheted, we start crocheting the next one. The next one is darker and then this color. It's the same crochet method as the last one. This is something I crocheted earlier and now have to put together. Once put together, we begin to crochet the petals. First, we need to find a piece of iron wire. We are gonna put iron wire up the back of this. Firstly, we have a piece of wire here that needs to be folded in half. Fold it in half twice. Now we'll take the iron wire and run it through the green flowers. Put it through the middle of this. Tighten up this line a little bit. Here, bend this wire a little bit. Put some glue on this so it can't be put out.
Let it do its work. It's stuck to this cotton thread of ours. That way you won't get pulled out. If it's not stable, you can glue it a little bit more. That way it won't get pulled out. We can cut off a little bit of this cotton thread on the inside. Then we'll crochet the petals of this sunflower. And then we're gonna stick these two pieces together. Then we crochet the petals together from inside the two flower loops. Take a crochet hook and pass it through these two loops. Pass through. When crocheting petals, the darker colors must be towards our. The green one is towards the opposite side, not towards you. Crocheted petals, we used yellow thread crocheted petals. Wrap the cotton thread around your hand first. The cotton thread is then crocheted through the loops. After crocheting over, let's tighten it up. Then follow my demonstration of crocheting. Let's start by crocheting two chains. After the two chains, we crochet a half double crochet. Inside the same coil, The half double crochet has three coils on it, so pay attention to that. Count it three coils. Three coils will pull it all at once. Then hook a double crochet. There are still three coils on this one. We double crochet the first two loops first. Carry over the first two coils. Then we crochet two chains. Then it's time to watch my demonstration carefully and crochet. The two coils underneath these two chains. Crochet two loops in reverse. After that, we'll bring this coil over on a one-off basis. Crochet the next petal. After it's in two sets, we'll move on to the next one. Let's find this coil over here. Then we'll hook a double crochet to bring the line in.
then the wire is wound. Then it's time to crochet the same way as before. Then crochet two chains. After pulling it tight, we are done with this one petal. After this group, we start crocheting the next group of petals. And then we are going to continue here with the next stitch as well. Now re-crochet the next petal on the outside. Crochet a half double crochet. It's still inside this coil. Still following the same method as before. There are three coils. Let's pull through the first two coils. Crochet two more chains. Keep crocheting the same way as before. And that's how we crocheted our second petal. Repeat this same action for all the following steps. Keep crocheting this petal until it's finished. Same steps. Just keep repeating the previous steps to finish knitting the petals. 